what's on YouTube, it's PTT back at it with another Destiny 2 video. Today guys, we are doing a weapon review, and in this video we're going to be concentrating on the Uriel's Gift, which is the Omelon Auto Rifle, and the Prosecutor, the Trials Auto Rifle. Now, there's actually a reason we are covering these at the moment, and that is because a lot of people have been asking me what is good for PvP and PvE together. And, well, both of these weapons are exceptionally good, so that is why we're going to be covering them today. Now, before we jump into this, guys, I want to remind you that we are still doing the weekly giveaway for from Silver. It's not Tuesday yet, so you've got a couple of days to uh, to get in on it. If, of course, you want to get in it, simply drop a like and a comment on the video, and we will message the winners on Tuesday at Reset. That aside, guys, let's just jump straight into it. So, the Uriel's Gift, let's take a quick look at the perk list first. First up, we have Precision Frame. This weapon's recoil pattern is more predictably vertically. We have a Spark PS and a Flash HS5 sight. These are various different sights, offering both a short zoom and a medium zoom. We have high caliber rounds. Shot from this weapon knock the target back further. We have Steady Rounds. This magazine is optimized for recoil control. And we have Tap the Trigger. Grants a short period of increased stability and accuracy on initial trigger pull. Next then, we have the Prosecutor. Again, this is a precision frame weapon, so this weapon's recoil pattern is more predictably vertically. We have Chambered Compensator, which is a stable barrel attachment. We have Corkscrew Rifling, which is a balanced barrel, increasing the range of the weapon and handling speed, but decreasing the stability. And we have Polygonal Rifle in, barrel optimized for recoil reduction. Now we have a very new talent here, this is kind of an intrinsic talent for the Trials and Nine weapons. We have Slideways. Sliding partially reloads this weapon's magazine and temporarily boosts handling speed and stability. And again we have Tap the Trigger, grants a short period of initial stability and accuracy on trigger pull. And finally we have the Hip Fire Grip, this is an ergonomic grip that increases accuracy and stability when firing from the hip. Now, and obviously both of these weapons come in the energy slot, guys, so they can both have an element attached to them, which, of course, makes them very useful in PvE, and both have very good times to kill and other traits that make them good in the Crucible. So, again, this makes them very good in both areas. Now, I personally use my Uriel's Gift in both PvE and PvP. I took it through the raid, and it performed exceptionally well, and it was my main weapon for PvP in my flawless run through Trials of Nine out the weekend. And again, I was extremely surprised at just how good and competitive it was inside a competitive Crucible mode at the moment is just a mitre fest. Now, when it comes to breaking down the stats of this weapon, they can be a little bit misleading, I have to be honest, if you are just looking at bars on screen when you inspect the weapon. See, with only 33 in the mag on the Uriel's Gift and 32 on the Prosecutor, then these versus other auto rifles actually tend to have a smaller magazine size. I mean, as an example, the Skate Lock has a 42 round mag, weapons like the Martyr's Make have 49 in the mag, and weapons like the Valkadian have 53 in the mag. But all of these higher magazine sized auto rifles have a much longer time to kill. I mean, the average time to kill with the Uriel's Gift and the Prosecutor is like 1.07 seconds, whereas the higher magazine size Valkadian take like 1.17 seconds to kill. And if we're actually talking about the Crucible, then that kind of time difference can make the difference between staying alive and or dying, especially if you're in that competitive playlist and you're going up against some sweats that really know their weapons and, you know, the ins and outs and stats of everything. Now... As I know there's probably a few number nerds out there watching, I'm actually going to go into some of the time to kill numbers for the Crucible. So both of these weapons, as I said, in Crucible will have a kill with 13 body shots as a minimum. As a minimal optimal shots to kill, then you're actually going to be looking at 6 critical shots and 3 body shots, or 7 crit shots and 2 body shots. Both of these combinations will actually give you that 1.07 kill time. And obviously that is depending on landing all of your shots and not missing any. Now, as I said, guys, versus any other auto rifle in the Crucible, currently there really isn't anything better. If you want to kill things, then you're going to want one of these two options currently at the time of recording this. Whether tweaks, nerfs, things like that will happen down the line, we'll have to wait and see. We're only a week into the game and I'm sure things will be tweaked accordingly and as time goes on. <coughs> Mida, <coughs> Mida, <coughs> Mida. Um, I've, got, I've got a terrible cough, guys. 
Um, now, when we actually look at the range stat, then both the Uriel's Gift and the Prosecutor have great range at 70 versus the average auto rifle range of about 46 to 53. On the impact front, well, both of these are almost totally making anything else unviable at the moment. See, the standard impact for both of these weapons are 29, with most other auto rifles maxing out somewhere between 14 and 17. The crit damage on both of these weapons is 23, and again, versus other auto rifles are between 14 and 17, so very good. The body shot damage with is 16, versus other ARs between 12 and 13. And as you can see guys, you know, if you're looking for a strong auto rifle for PvE or PvP, then it has to be one of these two weapons without a doubt. I know I've said it a few times, but it is true. The numbers just don't lie. And to be honest, I got, I'm going to go ahead and say it. Right? If you try these out and for whatever reason you don't like them, I will actually eat my hat. Because honestly, as an auto rifle lover, I can't get enough of either of these weapons no matter what content I am playing. Now, guys, I know that we have actually concentrated, statistically at least, uh, an awful lot on the Uriel's Gift in this video, and not the Prosecutor. That is purely down to the fact that I actually have all the details for the Uriel's Gift, and I don't for the Prosecutor, but with that, of course, being said, when you compare both of these weapons, they match up almost exactly. Now, I want to be specific, so there's actually no backlash. I mean to say that the impact is exactly the same on both of these weapons. The range, with a few perk adjustments, can be matched exactly. The stability is a smidgen higher on the Prosecutor versus the Uriel's Gift, but honestly, it is not that much to be noticeable. The handling second, uh, the handling second, the handling speed is down to microseconds faster on the prosecutor so again not noticeable and the reload speed again it is down to microseconds faster on the prosecutor so you really don't notice guys okay for for all intents and purposes these weapons are exactly the same 450 rounds per minute there's only one difference in magazine size so yeah like i've said I, i've said it a few times if you're in pvp or you're in pve and you want to use an auto rifle these are the two options you have, pretty much. If you use anything else and you go up against one of these weapons, you are going to lose. You do less base damage, you do less crit damage, your time to kill is slower. It's just crazy, okay? These are exceptionally good weapons. And I, of course, recommend that you use them. <laughs> I love auto rifles. I love both of these weapons. They are brilliant. Go and check them out, guys. Honestly, I think you will enjoy them. But for now, that has been the video. If you liked it and found it helpful, drop a thumbs up. Let me know any thoughts and comments you have in the section down below. And of course, doing so will also enter you into our silver giveaway. But that is it, guys. As always, thank you very much for watching. And until the next one, I'll catch you all soon.